hi welcome to my channel my name is danielle i make videos about mental health spirituality and everything else that i fucking want welcome mites today my loves this is a message for the motherfucking lovers for the lovers for those who keep their heart open when they've been fucking stabbed for those who are relentlessly geared towards the fucking light that no matter what happens in their life they choose to believe in good they choose to fucking hold that vision y'all motherfuckers are my favorite and i love y'all that's literally what we're gonna talk about today i had an a realization let's just say that i guess damn it i didn't bring my journal that i i wrote my realization shit in it but basically the gist is this y'all know that i'm experiencing a breakup and that it was necessary and that it was totally closing off karmic cycles the karmic cycle of codependency and um just like being drained being drained by each other so just toxic it just was not working with the dynamic that it was so it's not like a wham 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 but as i'm saying that i literally just fucking cried so much yesterday so much yesterday like constantly all day anyways it's a new motherfucking day i'm a new girl i'm a new person today gemini vibes my birthday's tomorrow i just like got accepted into my grad school i'm gonna be your therapist like what is there not to be grateful for you know what i'm saying i'm so thankful to my ancestors my guides higher self archangels god for fucking giving me the strength to set boundaries and put myself first i'm just spat all over the yard doesn't matter anyways so this message is beautiful because i found last night this space inside of me that felt shame for being loving that felt shame for wanting for for loving for loving so deeply for for believing for being a hopeless romantic basically for craving that depth and i just want to tell you if people can't meet you the way that you want them to meet you the way that you deserve to be met for whatever reasons whatever demons that they are dealing with a lot of the times people don't do it in spite of you, right? Sometimes maybe they do, but a lot of the times people can't meet you where you want them to meet you because they haven't met themselves there because they need to wake up to themselves first. I feel like that's what this situation was. But last night I was just like, oh, fuck, like last, last day, yesterday was really fucking hard, excuse me, and I cried constantly. It was good though. I was releasing, I was getting that energy out of me, I was yeah i was just honoring the way that i felt and then before i was going to bed i realized it just like overflowed through me that was like listen if that person doesn't show up for me the way that i need i'm going to and i said even despite them doing it or not i'm going to i said if if this person can't love me the way that i want i choose me i choose to love me that way and it's not that i also realized like it's not I shouldn't just be loving myself because someone else can't, right? So that was also the realization was like, oh, fuck, like, I need to be doing this constantly. And I was like, yes, babe, we do. And then I came to another realization. I really touch my hair way too much in these fucking videos. But I came to this other realization that was like, hold on. Whether, oh, a bumblebee just went by. Beautiful. So whether this person figures their shit out, whatever, whether they figure it out and in the future love me the way that i deserve cool whether someone else loves me the way that i deserve cool or whether i'm just loving me the way that i deserve for a while cool oh my god but I, this like viscerally like it viscerally was like whoa yes it's like i finally got to the point where it was like i'm good like i'm good i know me i love me i fucking choose me and then I, re this really, really solidified in my being when I got myself off. And as soon as I came, I was like, oh, just overflow with the sensation of like, I deserve everything I've ever wanted. I deserve everything I've ever wanted. All the pleasure I've ever wanted. All of the good feelings I've ever wanted to feel. All of the love I've ever wanted, I deserve. And like, I felt it all through me. It was fucking magical. It really was. It was amazing. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna do a whole ass video on like literally the sacredness of your fucking sexual energy, the portal that you can 
open up when you orgasm, it's amazing. It's amazing. Think about it, right? Creation happens through sex. Like, of course it's fucking sacred. Anyways, that's a whole other conversation in itself. But I just want to say to all my fucking lovers, to all those who love hard, who love with no bounds, who... This doesn't mean that you fucking let yourself get trampled on. No, 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 no. But to all those who love relentlessly, to all those who, who get hurt and they forgive and they realize like, yo, we are one. Like, I love all of us. I love me. Therefore, I love you. I may not understand you. I may wish that you were somewhere out some, some other way, but I, I understand that I, that's not up to me. I can't control you. And so I will love you exactly how you are. And love sometimes needs to happen from a distance. Loving energy is protecting ourselves sometimes. No, always. Not sometimes. Always. Boundaries protect you. Always. I just want to say, like, I, I realized that there was this shame around, like, feeling like, oh, I'm too much or, or, like, it's too much what I'm asking for. But it's like, no. If you want to be loved hard, presently, passionately, there is nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with that. Absolutely not. And you need to tell yourself that. Because I need to tell myself that. Because I need to feel it. I needed to feel it. I want to talk about the, like the sex with yourself <laughs> again. I realized like I don't watch porn anymore because it really was fucking with my mental. It really was. And I never had those feelings when I watched porn. So I just want y'all to know if you're going on like a self-discovery journey and you're d discovering like your sexual energy deeper, I would tell you to refrain from watching porn because I don't have those realizations and that feeling when I'm watching porn because it's like you're not really with yourself. You're kind of like it's like entertainment yet when you're like with yourself your eyes are closed like your well, your eyes can be open but like <laughs> you're with yourself and with your own body it's like you're just fucking feeling yourself fucking amazing like literally amazing anyways the whole fucking message today is for my lovers keep fucking loving keep loving keep believing in the future that you desire keep believing in the present moment that you are worthy of the love that you fucking want you are because you are love i'm literally fucking yelling um should we get a tarot card for this because like why not let's see archangels i ask our angels guides higher selves messages for their highest goods to come through goods highest goods what do you have to say for the lovers? What do you have to say to the lovers? Spirit, what do you have to say to the lovers? To those who love hard. Perspective. Dare to be different. Exactly. That's what I feel like this is. Dare to be different. To the lovers. So this, this I think, in this tar tarot, like in the OG tarot, this is actually the hangman, I believe, because he's like upside down. So perspective, right? Because when, when we got it, la, 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 when we're trying to think different, Sometimes we got to, you know, completely flip everything upside down. And I feel like perspective when it comes to the lovers, this is, this is you flipping upside down and fucking trusting that the universe will give you what you deserve when you viscerally feel that you deserve it. That is how we fucking create our reality. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm, on, I'm a little bit, bit of a baby crack right now? But that's how we create our reality. It's so important. Yes, our thoughts create our reality, but it's it, you can't just be like, I'm good. And if you don't feel good, that don't fucking matter. The feeling is everything. The feeling is everything. So when I viscer viscerally felt that last night, I was like, holy fucking shit. I'm a queen. I'm a fucking empress. I remember. I remember myself. I remember and all of the fears that I had, all of the shame, all of the guilt, everything about what I've done in the past, I'm not my fucking mistakes. I am not my mistakes. Nobody else is their mistakes. No mistake that you have made was even a mistake anyways because you learned from it. But maybe we could say mistake is like when you chose like the, a harder path, when you could have walked in love but you chose not to in some way towards yourself, towards others. But... We don't exist in the past. We exist in the now. Every fucking now moment is a new fucking cycle. It's like, boom, boom. What are you going to do now? It's like the whole world opens up every single new moment where it's like, am I going to yell or am I going to be calm? Yelling, collapse, that, that all of the other potentials collapse when you choose yelling and that shoots you somewhere. You're calm, all of the other potentials collapse. You're calm, that shoots you somewhere. One probably for your betterment, right? And one for difficult lessons. I'm fucking sweating. But, um perspective this is like 
having a higher perspective exactly like when you are craving that love you need to have a higher perspective and know that <laughs> and know that when you feel it in yourself when you viscerally fucking feel it like you know it with every cell of your fucking being that you deserve it it'll fucking find you it'll find you in divine timing you have ace of gabrielle this is the ace of wands this is fucking passion this is fire this is motivation this is wanting wanting this is going after it this is literally amazing any other messages for the lovers because i feel like the lovers y'all are my people y'all are my people because you fucking feel deep like me if, if you're someone who doesn't feel deep you're probably not you're probably not watching this <laughs> probably not watching this honestly because you're like this girl's fucked and respectfully love you i love you we have the two of Raphael. This is that deep motherfucking connection. This is that soulmate connection. Don't give up on those you love. I feel like this is don't give up on love, period. So don't give up on loving yourself. Don't allow what has happened to you to dictate whether you are worthy of something or not. No, that's not how it works. We have the king of wands here, king of Gabriel. You are worthy of you are worthy of someone who's so mature and who knows themselves. Who knows themselves deeply, deeply. I'm fucking, I just, wow. Like, I feel just lit up today. I do. Important relationships with people who share your vision, two of Gabriel. Yeah. I just feel like there's this immense, this immense fucking opportunity to really just know. Know your worth. I don't even want to say trust because trusting is still, it still allows room for doubt. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I'm going to trust you, but there's always that potential that it won't happen. When you say you know something, like that shit is solidified. I know the universe wants to give me what I want, period. The universe fucking knows me. The universe is in all of us, point blank. Like, that's it. Wrap it up. My feet hurt. <laughs> I don't know why. I just, no, I do know why. Because you know what this is? This is because I shed so fucking much yesterday. This fucking energy is because I shed so much. All right. Um, card for the lovers, please. Message for those who love hard. Card for the lovers. Another bumblebee. Ooh. Okay. So I just got this message from the bumblebee. Um, bumblebees go from flower to flower, right? If you get to a flower and you don't have what you need there, you are so allowed to go and find what you need. You are so allowed to say, I deserve more. You are so allowed to say, I want more. You're allowed, you're allowed. We get so fixated on only there being one way. No baby, there's plenty of flowers, plenty of fucking flowers. You go and you stand up for yourself, you set those boundaries, you put yourself first. You don't get mad at people, right? When someone's fucking you over, don't even get mad at them. Like they made that choice. It, there's a difference between a mistake is like it can happen once or twice. If that same pattern's happening like four or five times, baby girl or baby boy, man, girl, they, whatever, that ain't no fucking mistake. That's a motherfucking choice. And that's a pattern. That's an unconscious behavior that that person needs to deal with. And if they don't have to deal with it, if they don't want to, but you don't have to be fucking um, a part of it if you don't want to. You don't. You can wait for people to be grown in that aspect of themselves and then maybe they'll come around that maybe you'll be at the same alignment again but it's okay to fucking be at a flower and realize i don't like this nectar and go feel no shame about that but the butterflies i feel like that was a freudian slip like the bees don't give a fuck they're like okay next they're not worrying mm -mm, not at all and i feel like that freudian slip with the butterfly was like that's how you fucking transform that's how you level the fuck up it's not about what you can force people to do because you can't control anybody outside of you but it's like what do i know to be true in myself what is my truth right now in this moment and how am i living in integrity that's another message i wanted to say when you're worrying about shit worrying about what other people have to say worrying about this worrying about that it's probably might maybe because you're not always walking integrity when you walk in integrity meaning when you stay in the awareness that i am god other people are god every person is me we are all the same God consciousness because we all came from God. Therefore, no one is better than anyone else. And we are all trying our best. We are all just God experiencing itself in different perspectives. Therefore, I should respect people's journey. Again, that doesn't mean let people walk over you. That, but that does mean that if people are fucking rude, if they're bullying you, if they're whatever, you are in charge of removing yourself from that situation. You are in charge of not coming back with the same energy. Don't fucking match people's energy. Hell nah. Hell the fuck no. Protect your fucking peace. Protect your peace. Have the awareness to say, I'm good. I'm good. 
I know what's sacred in me and I'm going to walk that way because that's my journey. That's my destiny. Know your fucking self, baby. Know yourself. All right, we have prosperity. As this tree grows so strong, so fine, so may I prosper from the universal divine. The universe wants you to be fucking prosperous. So that's the thing. If you are in, excuse me, if you are in situations, whatever, that are not serving you, get the fuck out. Get out. You are meant to be prosperous. Don't stay at a job you hate. Don't stay with with friends that it's just not clicking anymore if y'all ain't on the same alignment just go like respectfully don't be fucking rude about it but just go like it's okay to grow out of people places things situations even yourself these beliefs that that don't feel good in you mm, i am prosperous i am prosperous my divine fucking being is prosperous so i'm good thank you say thank you next fertility let all take root seed and sprout let new life be all about meaning baby you can always start anew. There is always a seed being planted for a new beginning. Death card. You know what comes after the death card? I actually don't remember. I don't remember what comes after the tarot death card. But when something dies, something else is born. Something dies, something else is born, baby. But we, our, our concept that we've been taught about like life where it's like you live one life and then you die. Like, <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> what the fuck? Do you know how many intergalactic beings there are in the motherfucking the universe, the universe says, you don't live one the fucking life. You're here to evolve as a soul in this human experience. This does not mean negate your human experience. No, you intermingle them. You learn lessons as a human that evolve your soul. Man, we're feeling fucking passionate today, baby. We also have beauty. I have a form which is divine. I allow what is within to shine. This is saying to me, don't, don't stay in situations that make your light feel like this. Don't box yourself in a fucking... Don't don't box yourself in a fucking room. Do not. Absolutely do not. You have to move forward with the knowledge that you have of a situation. Trust what you fucking know, baby. Trust what you fucking know, baby. Be your authentic self. And then things will be rebalanced. That's the thing. The universe wants to give us what we want. But sometimes we just need to back the fuck up. We just need to back the fuck up and stop pretending like we are God. Stop pretending like that negated what I just said. But like... We are God experiencing itself, but we are, we are not, you know what I mean. I hope you know what I mean. Like, like you are in this incarnation, you are not meant to be like the, the, the all encompassing God. Like right now, you're not tapping into that power yet. Okay. So stop trying to control people basically was the message there. Let's have one more love note for the lovers. What do the lovers need to know? Oh, no, nope, that was a lot. What do the lovers need to know spirit? You have what it takes. All there is to love has been there all along. Aw. All right. Always follow your heart unless it's been broken. Then you must lead it back into love. The universe. P.S. Did you know that hearts are never too big to mend, too small to rebound, or too tired to love again? What did I fucking start this out saying? I said, shout out to all those who have been fucking broken. Who have honestly broken themselves by staying in situations that didn't serve them. Let's not have no victim on here, okay? We're taking accountability. It's okay that you were not strong. It's okay that I was not strong enough to remove myself from situations in which I was not getting the love that I deserved. Now I know better. Now I do better. Right? Let's not point the fingers at anybody else like, oh, you went, went, No. You have what it takes. Now that you have this awareness, this strength, place yourself in situations, people, whatever, in people. Place yourself where it feels right for you, okay? Let your heart lead. All there is to love has been there all along. When you begin to find love in people and places where you haven't found it before, it's always because you've grown. You so rock the universe. And then energy at the bottom of the deck. Earlier disappointment. Y'all, I'm so excited for Mercury to go back fucking direct in um, six days. Anyways, being a Gemini sun and Mercury ruled. So I'm ruled by fucking Mercury, basically. Holy motherfucker. It's hard to speak. Never regret love, no matter how blind it improved your vision, no matter how foolish it made you wiser, and no matter how generous it made you more. We love that. One more message. Okay. Love is the reason. What was I saying, bruh? What was I saying here? Uh, love was the reason. Each person in your life is there for a reason, and that reason always has to do so it has something to do with love. Just throwing things everywhere, baby. It says, your treasure is at hand. Sure, you can always find prettier, handsomer, skinnier, wiser, richer, younger, zippier. But more often than not, one learns the most, laughs the loudest, and smiles the widest with those they've already found, especially when they stop looking elsewhere. Actually, zippier is on quite a few lists. 
this feels like your treasure's at hand, meaning remember coming back into that visceral experience of, oh, I love myself. I fucking love myself. That's what that feels like. And you will be surprised. This is like, I really felt this overly abundance, over abundance of energy last night that was like, oh, I need to back the fuck off, baby. I need to give the universe space. I just need to I just need to drop back into the knowing that I am so fucking worthy. I am so beautiful. I am so strong. I am so precious. I am so deserving. I am so... I am everything. I deserve everything. Because the universe wants to give it to me. I just need to relax. I just need to back off. I just need to let the universe surprise me. And maybe if you are a fucking lover, baby, you need to do that too. Stop focusing so hard on what you want. And just love yourself love yourself and be present in the moment we receive gifts when we are present as fuck so if you're working on yourself and you're a motherfucking lover get in that meditation practice make it consistent find that fucking portal open it up and also get in that masturbation practice baby like hello we giving ourselves pleasure open up that portal to the universe it's amazing time after you've orgasmed whatever you want to manifest in your life you just repeat it to yourself like i am beautiful i'm strong i'm worthy i deserve every fucking good thing that happens to me let's end this with one card of the oracle of the seven energies spirit what message do you have to close this for the lovers what's the message to close this for the lovers we have sacred reverence with great big love at the bottom of the deck that might read it <laughs> okay that was an interesting sound wait let me get a sip of this oh my goodness the straws that are now not plastic like you have to drink your drink or else it just, I won't have a straw in a minute here. It says, offer the truth that spirit is everywhere. Inspiration coming through as a result of reverence. Joyful living, exploring possibilities with curiosity, spiritual passion, manifesting from the starting point of the realm of spirit. Yo, what did I say? Manifesting from the starting point of the realm of spirit. You know what the starting point of the realm of spirit is? Sexual energy. I kid you not, I swear, this is why in the media, in our culture, people are over-sexualized. The porn industry is so perverse and rampant, and it's because they're trying to fucking make you not recognize the sacredness of your sexual energy, the power in your sexual energy and expression. Anyways, let's continue. Looking at the world, do you see all of life or only a limited part? When you look at a blade of grass, do you just see a plant? When you encounter a puppy, do you just see an animal? Well, this categorization well, this categorizing is one way of viewing the world. It is only a fraction of the truth. It isn't enough. Look closer and you'll observe the luminosity imminent in these living sentient beings. If you can allow yourself to take in all the world, including its spirit, then you see the whole. Reverence is an act of deep witnessing, respect, and awe. You experience it when you perceive every being and everything, every plant, rock, and tree as sacred and alive. What did I say in the beginning of this? When you recognize that absolutely everyone is a God expression, you learn to back off a little and respect whatever decision they make because that's their experience. And you don't need to tell them how to live. You don't need to understand how they live. You don't need to control how they live. That's their experience. This is amazing. You naturally lean into a state of bliss and harmony, a profound sense of well-being. And whatever your dilemma or question, try to reframe your perspective to acknowledge the spiritual. If everything has value, including your most frustrating challenges, would you still ask your question from the same space, place? Can you regard the other as sacred, thereby erasing the separation between you. Embracing the perfection of how you came together is real magic, and you are tapping into this unity right now. No matter who or what is in front of you, see that person person or thing as luminous and your interaction as holy. Then you will know what to do for the highest good of all. If that doesn't just tie this message together, wow. Let's read the one that's on the bottom of the deck, because this, I love this oracle deck. Okay, we have great big love. I gotta find the page first. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm just like, I love when everything just clicks together. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, great big love. This says, love without conditions, romantic love and how that experience changes you. Deep and profound, harmonious connections, soulmates. Soulmates! Okay, anyways. 
the fuck? <laughs> I need another sip. Why do I feel fucking high? This is why I don't drink or smoke a lot because, like, ever really. Because my natural state of being is fucking high. Thank you, meditation, dead ass, and yoga. Okay. Love heals all wounds, begins all life. Again, right there, begins all life. This is so tied into the sacred sexual energy. Oh, I'm getting hot. Okay. It sustains you when you are starving for grace, when you stumble and fall, and when you lose sight of your purpose and fall prey to the limited perspective of the ego. Now is the time to fall in love and call in the awareness of the great big love that made you, which is ever pulsing through your veins. There's a heightened sense of awareness in the beginning stages of a relationship when nothing else matters but who is in front of you. You see them and you see yourself in them and you move in sync with the cadence of your heart. Cadence? I don't know. You surrender to the magic you share and engage in a harmonious dance that is seamless in its movements, rising and falling with each moment, each breath. Although this card may portend such an intimate connection, you don't have to wait for a partner to experience it. What did I fucking say? I love when the messages fall together. You're being invited now to explore love in all its beauty. Can you love without conditions, without needing things to be perfect? Do you love your life, what you do, and how you contribute to the world? Today, invite love with a capital L into your inquiry. You will be amazed, and your very question may be changed as a result. Love is the strength you need today, the lens you must look through to find the truth and your way. Love is the way, the only way, and the only answer. My lovers, never give up on love. Never give up on expressing the love that you feel. Never dim your fucking light. Never make yourself smaller. Because God made you exactly how you are. And that is exactly what you're meant to be. I love you so fucking much. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stick around. Because there's plenty more where this came from. I love you guys so much. For the lovers. Bye.